people as possible, and as usual, it's always difficult to make sure you include everybody. I'm going to try and, and avoid individually calling anybody, so I don't forget anybody, uh, with the exception of uh, probably uh, Trudy. Can you read? Trudy, are you in the room? Can you please stand up and listen? Okay. Now, you must, you need to understand, and anyone who's been around me you know, knows, I got yeah, I'm accused of having ADD, ADHD, disorganized, all this stuff. <laughs> but I am smart enough to find people who have the skills that I lack. And Trudy has been, misses everything where this event is concerned because you need to understand what it takes to, to manage me. Because I go 100 miles an hour and I stuff falling out of pockets and doing all kinds of stuff. And she's right there to pick up, take notes, pay, uh, call, anything uh, which regards to this event. And she really is the major reason why this year's event was able to run so much smoother. And you know, if it's your first year of the event, you're always gonna say, yeah, it could have gone smoother. It, it always will, it's a work in progress. It's volunteers that make it happen. But certainly she was the, the number one volunteer in order to make this thing go and, and go up the level from it was last year's. So I'd like to just give her a nod. I tell you what school she, she went to years ago, then it may explain all the awards that it went, but she's Eastern, she's from Eastern Commons. So um, you don't need to clap for that. They, the Eastern <laughs> contingency made me say that. Uh, other than that, though, naturally this event cannot work without volunteers, so I, I'd like if you volunteer in any capacity, you please just stand really quickly so we get a chance to acknowledge you. names just, just for that reason and uh, then most importantly I'd like to thank all, all the parents in attendance and not only just ones in attendance but the ones that are not here so you make sure you go back and you tell your parents thanks because it, I mean without their supporting your basketball efforts and even coming so far as to be here we have parents that have flew in from British Columbia to support their kids Alberta to support their kids and Obviously, the local parents are driven from all over Windsor, Wells, all different places to support their kids. That just goes to show you how much uh, they, your happiness, enjoyment, everything else means to your parents. So give a hand to the parents. <laughs> and any, any and all sponsors which we've had, uh, you know, some of which are attendants, again, some who are not, uh, thank you very much because Run, moving this event is obviously very difficult uh, in terms of just raising the money. Uh, again, a lot of people look at it on the outside, it's beginning to look very glossed over, uh, like you know, a lot of money's being pumped into it, but do not be fooled, it all is a hustle and a grind to make it happen. In our perfect world, you know, not one person in here would have to come out of their pocket with a cent. And I tell people that all the time, you know, I, it doesn't. It, it bothers me the fact that, you know what, I have to turn to some of you and say, hey, guess what? Not some, but all, and say that, you know what, we really need you to contribute. Well, this is what I do have to say uh, with regards to that. And if there is a problem with your ability to contribute, and I said this to a young man the other day, and it really put me on the spot because, you know, he wasn't in a position to do it. But he didn't say anything to me early enough. But if you do say something to me early enough, then I have the ability to turn to a sponsor or somebody and ask them to support you. And realistically, with an event like this, if it really does mean that much and it's becoming that significant event in the lives of young people, uh, you are representing your schools, uh, you're representing your communities. I mean, we can work together to make sure that, that no one has to pay a fee. I mean, I don't see why your schools cannot at least cover an entry fee or a small fee that can go towards the event for you to be here if you're selected and nominated. That, that pressure does, or a community organization or, 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 or a business. And so these are the kind of things I'd like to see happen in the future. So you know, again, we don't have to ask you for any, anything. So, but we really are trying to get to that point. So I do like to thank the sponsors that we've had uh, so far.
for all special guests that have uh, contributed and come out. Absolutely, would like to uh, to thank you for traveling as far. And, you know, we got Vegas, we got Chicago, D.C., New uh, England. You know, in terms of our, our special guests that, that have, have traveled to uh, to really to help take this event up up to a, another level. I really believe we've gone up to another level. Uh, going into the into the future, please look out for our website phase1basketball.com if you haven't seen it. There's some things that we really like to do, a lot of great programs we'd like to introduce. And even with this, this event, going into our 10th year, I'd love for that 10th year anniversary to be something special. I told myself uh, a year and a half ago, or a short time ago, when people convinced me to keep doing this event, that I was going to work hard to make this event get to year 10. Pull out all the stops, hustle, talk to whoever I need to talk to, to get to year 10. And if we get to year 10, I want year 10 to be something very special that is bigger than me, obviously, in terms of the input and the involvement. Because you see, with, even with the awards process, we need your coaches and your, at your high schools to contribute, contribute names, uh, contribute um, you know, nominations, uh, support. I mean, it's becoming too much of a, me and the athletes and their parents. It's, it's bigger than that. So, in order to grow for year 10, we're trying to get more involvement. Uh, as far as the poster is even concerned for year 10, man, I, I'm going to get my, my friend Cheryl in on the case. I'd love to have an essay writing contest. Write me, tell me what our year 10 poster, what you think our year 10 poster should be like, who should be on it, how it should be look. I'd love for you to see some of these ideas that you have that will make this event better. Um, so look out for that information, emails from us and, and things on our site where we're asking for your contribution. Oh yeah, sorry, I do have one more uh, person. Randy Smith. Randy, could you stand up, please? Okay. Yeah, sorry, I can't individuals, but, and, but I mean, the images that you're getting to enjoy watching while you ignore me are compliments of Randy. Randy's been working tirelessly in our, in our, our sports community, period, capturing images uh, of our, our kids, and he does it just out of, out of the love. And I'm so glad to be able to connect with him this year for this event, because I'm, when you see the images that came out of this year's event, you'll begin to understand how much of a, an impact and difference he's, he's going to make on this year in terms of us being able to put it out there to the rest of the world. Uh, what a wonderful weekend we had. So give Randy a round of Oh, on our website where you can get get some more information. So the last thing is the uh, Elite Ones League. Uh, please come on out and support. That will be at Seneca College. Uh, that will feature those guys that were in that alumni game. Strategically, we did that alumni game for that reason to get ready to launch this this league. And for them, that will be you know Wednesday, Friday, and Saturdays. There will be games at Seneca College. And uh, ladies, again, why don't we do things for the women? And, and each thing will happen in its time. And we had alumni women's games. It was tough to put it together. But as you, you continue to sort of pull together and um, you know, support each other and support this event, we'll be able to have a, a larger group of women in which I'm, I will work equally as hard to try and make things happen for them as well, too. So thank you again. Hope you have a safe journey. Uh, the group of the alumni men, if I could just see you with Mike Kennedy real quick before you leave. The athletes themselves, sorry, which I didn't thank you for, for taking part and making your way here. I apologize for that too. I totally forgot about you. Can, everybody can get a round of applause for all the athletes. If you need to take the bus back, it is ready to go. It will take you back to, to Seneca College where you'll be able to, um, you know, your parents or folks will meet you there. If you have a ride to leave from here, then obviously you, I told you you've been, you've been spoken to already. You can grab your things and you can be dismissed from here. And thank you again. Thank the Rembrandt. Uh, thank anybody you think of thanking uh, for coming out and supporting. I uh, thank you. <laughs>